Ready to do it? We're back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But we ain't never left. We back. <laughs> it's your favorite boys. And your favorite brick. And your favorite pros. That too. And what else are we? <laughs> but we are back. 2016 That's Bachelorette. Right. Man bun. New edition for anyone who hasn't been keeping up with our videos. Denim cut. Old edition. That's right. For those of you that did keep up with our something videos. Something old, something new. Uh-huh. As long as we're talking about marriage. Bachelorette. Hell yeah. Now, uh, I guess that's something blue, too. What? Something old, something new, something blue. When you get married, you have to wear all three of those things. Are you kidding me? Uh, all right. You right. host a show about marriage, and you don't know that? I don't know, dude. <laughs> well, like, I'm married. But we are back we're for back. JoJo's season of The Bachelor. Excited too. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked, man. This is this is gonna be a good ass time watching these dumbass dudes compete for this girl that <laughs> is kind of lame. That's the gonna be the TV guy description. <laughs> <laughs> dumbass dudes compete for girl that's some girl. kind of lame. <laughs> some girl that's kind of lame. <laughs> We got JoJo this year yeah. as The Bachelorette, and uh, if you are tuning in, we are about to break down the entire cast. Mm -hmm. All 26 of them? I don't know. Is that right? 26. 26. Yeah, 26 of them. So keep it locked on this five-part extravaganza. All right. And uh, join us as we break down the whole crew. But before we get into the, the gentlemen, we're going to go into... JoJo, quick yeah. recap for anybody who doesn't remember. Mm -hmm. um, she was from Texas. Yeah, she was from Texas. Finished second place in Ben season. Yeah, so blessing in disguise. Oh, Got yeah. Got a lot of airtime. Well, you mean big ass blessing because she doesn't have to spend the rest of her life with Ben? Yeah. Is that what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Big ass blessing. Um, second place in Ben season. What does she do for work? Real estate developer. Real estate owns developer. Her own, just found out owns her own real estate company. All right. Well, that's Rents cool. to students. Uh, probably go to Baylor because it's in Waco. Okay. Yeah. Where so she went. Probably making some... Oh, she's definitely making some good money based on her apartment that we saw last Holy season. Remember God. that? that I mean, it is dope. Waco. Yeah. Which... Mm, but uh, it's still a really nice apartment. Yeah. But in hindsight, she's probably the best choice for The Bachelorette, but I'm not really that crazy about her. What about you? I don't know. I, I liked her. But I, as far as uh, did I fall in love with her? I mean, my threshold for falling in love is pretty low, and I didn't <laughs> for her. Right. So, but I didn't for anybody last year. So. Yeah. Um, well, bullshit, dude. You were crushing on LB hardcore. Yeah, but then we got the more we were exposed to her, the more it was evident she was a dud. She's charismatic enough to carry the show. Ben was not charismatic to carry a 10-week reality show. Mm -hmm. So I, whether I like her or not, I think it's going to be entertaining. All Certainly right. more entertaining than last last season. Let's get into the guys. Let's get into the guys! That's, uh, <laughs> that's, his, that's his seventh <laughs> beer. <laughs> you can only see this little square, but there's seven beer cans just like that. <laughs> anyway, let's, <laughs> let's start off with uh, Alex. All right. A um, little bit of a plain Jane. Uh, he is a U.S. Marine. Uh, so yeah. Thank you for his service. Uh, he's got uh, some interesting answers to some questions. All right. What do we got? All right. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, this is the first one that caught my eye. Do you like to go out dancing? He goes, not really. Uh, I typically will only slow dance. I'm not into the whole booty dancing thing. <laughs> he sounds like a chaperone, like at a school dance. Like, no booty dancing? Hey, cut that booty dancing out! <laughs> <laughs> Pulls out the ruler, makes sure that it's 90 degree yeah, angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, None of that 45 degrees. Like, what a square. He's 25, and he calls it booty dancing. It says, what's your most embarrassing style you've uh, rocked? He goes, my skater phase was pretty funny looking. Dude, as two guys are like in the middle of their skater phase. <laughs> yeah. What's funny looking about this? I know, man. We Come to our defense, commenters, because we are yeah. looking like, just say FU Alex. Hashtag FU Alex. Let's get it trending. That's right. Yeah. Meet us at the 
Crown Hill mini ramp and tell us who looks dumb. This butt cheek says, all time favorite movies, Troy and Glorious Bastards 300. This guy has something for dudes and pecs oiled up. <laughs> no. I think he's on the wrong show. All right, next we got Ollie, 27 year old bartender from, I guess we don't know where he's from yeah. because they don't list the, don't the freaking cities. What's the most embarrassing style you've rocked? Mm -hmm. Had really long hair. Ew. <laughs> what do you Ew. think he talks like? I can't oh, get it. I can't get a read because most of his answers are sort of like straightforward. Yeah. But that one makes me think he might have like a bit of a bit of an attitude to him. Yeah. Oh, how about this one though? Yeah. What's your favorite flower? <laughs> Seriously, rose. Okay. Yeah. He's definitely right. got have some flair to him, dude. This. Um, look, I mean, just look at his V-neck. That's all the flair <laughs> in the world. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That tells you all you need to know about this guy. What color is that? Uh, coral, dude. Oh, that is hideous. Yeah, this guy can f off. This yeah. guy sucks. This, he's not gonna make it. He, look he, at those eyebrows. Yeah, dude. This guy ain't even making it past the first night. So adios, Ali. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, so the next one we have is uh, Brandon. And if you peep the biographies beforehand, you probably stood out because uh, he has listed himself as a professional hipster. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But um, he just. But wait. No. Scroll down. He yeah, yeah. Doesn't have any tattoos. Oh, so how? The fuck. You can't. I don't think you can be. Yeah. There's no, there no way he's not, a, right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, he's got to have a couple like neatly placed tattoos of like some poetry that he wrote. Oh, I don't know, man. His first his first attribute that he listed for three best attributes is humble. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Yeah, that's something a hipster would say. Yeah, probably so. Oh, oh, humble, it. meek. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> biggest date fear: being so attracted to her that I don't know how to approach her or be myself. All right, man. I'm back on board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If there's something we know, yeah, we I can really know to that. about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the person you love most in the world and why? My mother. She's the kindest, most open, loving person I know. <laughs> Boring. All right. Uh, but if she's single, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, moving on. We got Chad next. Mm -hmm. Who's like, looks like a Chad. Yeah, it does. <laughs> he looks like he's just ready for that next Tool album drop. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he changed his name to Chad when he was 18. <laughs> he just he just got really hooked on the Nickelback. It was like, you know, Chad Kroger <laughs> has it going on. <laughs> <laughs> His uh, confirmation name that he took was Kroger. Say Kroger. <laughs> Patriot State of Rock. <laughs> uh, he's 28. He's a luxury real estate agent. Had to throw in luxury. Had to throw in luxury. When you add the fact that he's a real estate agent, and you know that JoJo's into the name Chad, based on last <gasps> season. Oh, you're right. I think this guy's a, a front runner. He's got to be, For man. a second. I think he'll... he'll, uh, he'll yeah, um, yeah, keep going. I don't know, man. <laughs> um, who do you admire most in the world and why? Myself in 10 years. All right, all right, oh, all right. Oh, yeah, he was that guy. Uh, I was on the, the newspaper in high school. We were in charge of doing the where would they be in 10 years thing for the seniors when yeah. we graduated. And there was this guy in our class who we didn't really, we didn't dislike him, but he was just kind of blah. Uh -huh. So for the where will they be in 10 years, we just wrote we'll be 10 years older. <laughs> That's and this guy good. just so far reminds me of that kind of guy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, here you go. This this is a Chad moment right okay. here. What's your worst date memory? A girl got blackout drunk and passed out during dinner. <laughs> I refuse to believe that's his worst date memory. You know he probably went home afterwards just like, dude, check this out. Ask every girl who's gone on a date with him. They have a much different story. Yeah, they've got an even worse date. I would say if all the girls, let's say he's been on a on a date with 10 different girls. Mm -hmm. That's just a nice round number. Mm -hmm. I'd say seven of them would say he's their worst date. That's probably true, right? I could see that. Uh, next in line is Chase. This guy looks like he might be Captain Normal so far. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he is, a, yep, so reporting for duty. <laughs> uh, Captain Normal. If you could be somebody else for just one day, who would it be and why? My dad to get a better understanding of the decisions he made. That's, I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice sounding answer. Yeah. But how much, you're only being him for one day. Yeah. How much of an understanding are you going to get for all of the decisions he's made? <laughs> right. Seriously. You know? Yeah. For I know my day, normal day, it's me trying to forget all the decisions <laughs> I've made. <laughs> yeah. One day, man, like, you could, I'd much rather be 
Tom Hardy or Leo DiCaprio right, right. or somebody dope like that. Right. You know? I, I yeah, I, I think make the most of it. I think he's going for the uh aw answer. You yeah. know? Oh, definitely going for that. It was uh, a calculated maneuver, but we sniffed it out. Yeah. We're smarter than that. Oh yeah, okay. Uh-huh. So this is like the, the detect guy detective work oh, yeah. at play. What's your biggest date fear? The girl falling in love and you're not so into it. I bet. What? In this season, mm. those roles are reversed. He falls in love and she's not feeling it. Oh. So, suck it, okay. Chase. Good early call. Yeah. Uh, hold him accountable. Bachelor Nation. Bachelorette Nation? Is that what we call it? Ba- or is it just still Bachelor I think it's still Batch. Um, we, let's just call it Batch Nation. Batch Nation. Batch. Yeah, Batch Nation. <laughs> yeah. That's what we'll call it. We got Coley next. I can't tell from the picture if he's got a ponytail. It might be a mullet. I'm not sure. Not a mullet, dude. Look at that. It's got the curl. In There's the back. no way he's rocking a mullet. They didn't let anybody with a mullet on the back. He might have a half mullet. All right. Uh, the step. I bet it's a man bun. Stepchild of a mullet. I bet it's a man. Hey bun, man, dude. don't disparage the bun. I'm disparaging <laughs> it, dude. I'm just saying. Real estate consultant. All right. In the in this the sphere Word. of land. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> Don't tell Chris Souls. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's his passion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> you want to talk land, you better hire Chris Souls see. to come in for the expert analysis. <laughs> it says top three passions <laughs> land, land, and more land. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, fuck this guy. Favorite holiday and why? Fourth of July. No problem with that answer, but then he goes, because America. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. Oh man. my God. I, if I see that caption on a Fourth of July Instagram, unsubscribe. I'm not into it. Yeah. Be more original. Yeah. Um, or just say, happy birthday, America. Or do a stank on your pick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of a black and white. Check out our Instagram page. That's right. And uh, scroll back. And you feel free to double trap one of us if one of us is behind on uh, a <laughs> certain amount of likes. Oh, okay. How about this? So, we've kind of been doo doing on the guy, but he says, I love it when my date doesn't take her phone out of her purse for a date. Nice. That's a fantastic That's answer. That's a good answer, man. Ladies, if you're watching... Uh, and you're looking to impress a couple of guys like us, you know, undivided attention goes a long way. Yeah. Even if you're not the most, uh, let's say, outgoing person on like a first day, which is understandable, just undivided attention is key. Yeah. I mean, just taking your phone out in general, anytime you have a social interaction is bad. I would say, having said that, well, both of us have our phones out right now, <laughs> but I'll also say having said that, I like to put my phone on the table, face up, so that if I do get a notification while she's talking, it looks like you're... I, I can see your screen that you're not doing anything. What did you say? <laughs> okay. 